Hello everyone and thanks for watching this video. Uh, in this set of videos I'm trying to bring up some of the coolest stuff that uh, PSCAD has and basically these features can um, can make it easier for you to run some of the cases especially if you are running uh, various scenarios uh, and my goal here is not to take so much time from you to uh, let you know of some of these features. So it's going to be very quick videos, like uh, two to two to five minutes videos, not more than that. Uh, and I hope that in the end of each video, I can introduce um, the good stuff that I found uh, helpful for me. And uh, yeah, let's go from here. So the first, as uh, the first tutorial. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to the scenarios in PSCAD. Basically, if you have various uh, systems set up or various cases that you want to test, uh, one way to go for it is to basically manually turn on and turn off the switches, as I'm sure that you all know of them, uh, or manually change the fault type and go from there. The other alternative is to have uh, to, in, to save each scenario as a unique scenario. From that point, then you don't uh, confuse that what case I'm running, like uh, if there, there are like 100 um, breakers to open or close, from that point, you don't need to go and manually do each one. You can just select the scenario and go from there. Okay, in this case, as, I'm, as I promised, it's going to be a quick, short video and uh, hopefully helpful for you. So for the first uh, scenario, let's say I'm, I want to test the low SCR ratio. Uh, and I don't want the high uh, short circuit ratio to be in as the system operation point of view. And I want to apply a three-phase fault. So in that case, I set my fault case at 7, which is defined at the... Uh, for the fault type, it's going to be the three phase to ground fault, and I don't want to have my highest CR as a network, and I just want to have my low SCR. So it's going to be low SCR, three phase fault. So from this point, I can go here and save as. I can go to save scenario, save as, and I put it as low SCR uh, three phase. Let's say I just put the name this one so we can see that it will show up here low SCR three phase fault and let's introduce another scenario let's have let's say I want to have now the highest CR and let's say a single phase fault so if I want to have a single phase faulty ground and the highest CR test I put the fault to one and the SCR uh, the, I select the SCR, high SCR or high short circuit ratio, and the low circuit short circuit ratio is off. And I can save this one as high SCR uh, one phase, let's say. And now I have. If you if you go here now, you see that you have different scenarios. Now let's have a quick look at. It. If I go to the base, you see that this is where I started everything. If I go to low SCR, three phase, you see that this one goes to three phase. This one is on, this one is off, and the other one, high SCR, single phase, and there you go. Uh, from this point, you can have as as many uh, cases as you want as a scenario. And basically, if you have multiple breakers, uh, multiple file types, you can just go here and select it. Or you can modify it, let's say uh, I want to modify the single phase, uh, just as a sake of test. I put it as a second one uh, in this part, and I just save scenario. And it will tell you that it will be overrided, and you say yes. And at this point, if I go to that scenario, you see that this has been already changed. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I hope you enjoyed this one, and it was helpful for you. Uh, leave a comment for me if you have any question I try to answer uh, I, I try to do my best to answer all the questions that you might have if I know them or uh, if 
I found it interesting for everyone to, to know of that question, I definitely make that video and post it here. Thanks again. Good luck. Have a good one. Bye.